All right, hello everyone. So let's take a look at the market. Let's start off with gold as usual. Now with gold, remember, we had the 2044 target since the beginning of the week because that was on our weekly PST. There you go. And then I also said, what did I also say? I also gave yesterday that we've got these levels as well and we need to take care of them. If you followed the financial astrology yesterday, the way I said stuff, you should have been just fine because I talked about the market pushing down into this zone. I said you have to manage this time period correctly and this is why. And as you can see, that's the astro hour and the market stabilizing around there. All right, so with gold, as you can see now, we've got targets higher. And also on the weekly, we've got a breakout. Okay, so this is turning out to be a pullback buy opportunity. All right. So if the market comes back down, closes some gap, it's either going to be here or slightly lower down here. All right. Then we might, in essence, find ourselves going up again. If the market keeps going up without coming back down, then I suspect in the evening we should have a place where the market should want to sell off. All right. So if we keep pushing up, it should, if it keeps pushing up, it'll go up until like sideways or up. It'll start mucking around here somewhere or slightly higher until four o'clock, that 4 p.m. period, my time, which is going to be 9 a.m. New York. All right. And then you need to look out for. 5 to 6 p.m. my time because that's the time I think you know whatever is going to happen is going to happen if it's going to be at the top somewhere it's going to find some opportunity to reverse if it's down here somewhere then it's going to have an opportunity to go up so looking at that nine o'clock New York time period that's the opening uh, which is 4 p.m. my time 4 to 4 20 and also from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. my time. Uh, so it's going to be like 10 to 11 is important. All right. For anything you're trading. That's that. So because it's breaking up to the outside, we might just hit a few stuff and then pull back. All right. Now, as you can see here, I just want to demonstrate. This is the high. Okay. That the market did. All right. Now, Fridays, I don't work usually, but I did take a trade. I'll share that with you in a minute. Um, if the market goes up and closes lower than this again, then we'll know this is just stop sweeping. And next week, we'll look to short, but we'll see how things pan out. But we don't want to be buying until we come back down again. All right. So it's going to be important to see where the market holds today. And also, you know, pulling back into this 2037 is not a bad idea. The market, you know, should come back down into this zone. So, you know, having a sell opportunity down is not a bad idea. Okay. And the first Astro Hour is here today. And this is not a bad spot either, to be honest with you. All right. It's not a bad spot uh, either. Okay. So the market from here might come back down into the opening or down here and so on. All right. A bit choppy around here until eight o'clock uh, my time. But, you know, in any case, um, this is a zone where the market might want to retrace before going back up or just might come for a retracement and, you know, retrace, retrace, go back side again, like here, right? Just going sideways, 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 because they'll want to close this sooner or later. Euro dollar, this is on the daily. Now, yesterday I said you could sell from the tops. And if you did that, you should have been just perfect because this was the zone we marked in yesterday. All right, this was the zone. This was the hour. If you sold down here, here, you should have been just fine. And those were the targets. Now, this is again good to sell. You can see the market coming up. One little zone. I'm going to change now and it's there. The reason for that is because we've got the gap. Okay. So now this becomes 
for us a zone. If in New York, if we get back up into this zone, then selling is okay. Why? Because that's an impulse wave here. Having an A, B, C up and then selling off is not a bad idea. So if you can match that, that'll be fine. If it doesn't go up and it keeps pushing down, you can look for an opportunity to push into lower levels, which is 44, which is 1.079190. So 0790 is there. All right. So this is already up a little bit, as you can see. Okay. Because it's the daily, it will change. All right. The daily will give us new daily levels as the market's changing. The weekly will give us a fixed level, 42 down there, all the way at 1.0710. Let's take a look at the SP500. Now with the, let's get in there. Come on. Right here. Okay, this is the SP500. <clears throat> this is a five minute chart. Let's get on to a 15 minute. I just took an entry here. This is why I was on a five minute chart. As you can see, it's a tight stop loss. The first target will cover the trade the two positions open and the second one should take us all the way down there if it works out why did i take this trade like i said astrologically this was a good hour in my opinion um, which should you know give us a bit of a retracement and that bit of a retracement should at least cover the stop loss and if it does then keeps moving that should come down now with yesterday as you can see the market i also sold yesterday here actually um, same kind of time setup as you can see okay the market pushed up I took some profit here uh, here I didn't muck around with the market at all actually I was out pretty much all afternoon yesterday and I only took the SP 500 yesterday down got out and that was it so by the time I got home this was already done uh, when I picked up Al from school and took a look at it so no big deal all right, market goes up, pulls back, and is going back up again. Now, New York sold off, and then they bought again. And then this was a target, remember, that 5,106, which is right there. Okay. Now, as you can see, the market is breaking upwards, which is fine. So there are two things that can happen here. We're either going to break out, and I'm going to get stopped out with a small stop loss, or the market's going to come back and then go back up in order to buy and go back up and break out again, okay? Now, this is a zone on the daily because on the weekly, we've got room to go up. The market's still going up, okay, no problem. Is it okay to sell under those circumstances? Well, if the hour is right, you can, okay? Um, let's just do this template monthly. Here we go, that's better. All right. Um, so that's how it is. That daily is breaking out on the PST. So on a pullback, you want to be looking to go long. OK, so me taking a short trade is here is simply because of two reasons. Yesterday, New York sold from there. OK, and today it's an astro hour. So it's a resistance level plus the hour is right. I should at least get my stop covered. And then if the market wants to pull back into New York, to buy again, that's also good. Now, if you go to your one hour chart, okay, this is what you'll have, okay. The market's already done that. So what you might want to see is the market coming back into the daily pivot before it does any buying. As you can see, there's no gap here. They've closed it nice and easy. On the 15 minute as well, you can see there's a bit of gap here. So the market's got really either the daily pivot or this zone, all right? And the daily pivot is also looking good. So you can actually keep this in mind, but this will be your zone, all right? So the market should give us a bit of a pullback if they want to buy in again and so on. 
We'll see how that pans out. Okay, but be careful, like I said, because there's a breach out and we don't want to stand in front of a PST breakout. Okay, so this is why I traded a small lot at an Astro Hour for the retracement. Other than that, would not do that at all. Let's take a look at Dow Jones, NASDAQ, and Bitcoin and see how they're going to pan out. Now, with the indices, as you know, they all move together, which is fine and crystal. So, no surprises there. And let's see. All right, so this is NASDAQ. All right, with NASDAQ as well, remember we had that 73 level 18064. As you can see, the market pretty much made that level. And you see how the sell off came in New York? It was a PST level on the weekly. Okay, and this is why these PSD levels are so important. 73, 18,064. Right, so that is like, okay, so that's one target. And on the daily, you can see we had that level 64, which is 18,104. Okay, that 140 is up there. So we can put that on actually for today. Yesterday was a bit far out. But this is your 18,140. All right, and those are your, and that's your 18,064.50 zone yesterday. So seeing targets made really makes me happy. It just shows us how correct our targeting is as well. And to confirm that every day is like really, you know, it's just like really precious actually. Okay, so let's take a look. Um, so with this as well, let me just refresh this. All right, so this is like, looking like a three tap, but we'll see how things pan out. Now, as you can see, we haven't really got a breach here, so the market might go up still a little bit more, and then we've got room to pull back. Now, do I want to stand in front of it? Not particularly. All right, not particularly. Um, I don't want to stand in front of this at all. So the only thing you can do, why? Because it's an impulse wave. That's a flag breakout, okay? So the market does want to go up, and we should honor that as well. So a little bit of a retracement in New York um, at the hours that I mentioned might make this a good opportunity to get in. So in New York, if we're like dipping down, then pushing up may not be a bad idea at those astro hours. Um, like I said, at 5 p.m., 6 p.m. my time, um, or at 4 to 4.20 my time. So looking for a buy setup around there, uh, these zones might be the way to go, okay? Especially this zone is looking like okay. Uh, the same kind of thing, I guess, will be with Dow Jones as well. As you can see, Dow Jones, we're in that zone. As you can see, Dow Jones is like, hasn't really done much compared to the others. But look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Right on the target. So this is nice to see. And this is why I love the PST indicator. It's just giving us targets. I don't know where I got those from. But must have gotten it from somewhere if I drew those on. Okay, so probably this. Okay, so I might have done that manually. All right. So if you learned technical analysis from me, you would have gotten those as well. Nice setup. As you can see, that'll probably be an Astro Hour, won't it? 4.30 is 5.30 my time. So, and then we had 6.30 my time is going to be 5.30 here. This was an Astro Hour here. Okay, that was a Astro Hour. 5.15 to 5.30, that's your 5.15 to 5.30. And obviously the Astro Hour was here, 3.15, which is going to be 2.15, is going to be 2.15 is right there. Okay, so from 2.15 to 2.30 or 2.45, that's their market going up right into there and then mucking around here, as you can see. Same with this, I guess a little bit of a retracement is in order, but it but you see the selling off right at the top is actually a sign that this might keep pushing down. So this is like an impulse wave. 
going up and then we might push down again all right so a bit more care need, is needed here the market is still going up okay so if you want to buy 55.33 at an astro hour well, that's 38.860 it's not a bad idea okay 38 860 is here right so at an astro hour if you like want to buy the low to go up and so on it's okay to do so um, just do stuff with proper money management because on the weekly we're right at the tops there right so this is like a sell zone for me you know not a buy zone but you know everybody's got their own opinion of the market so if you're going to muck around just play around at the tops and the bottoms so you don't get chopped out okay also here you know buying a low to go back up is okay or coming up to sell is also okay um bitcoin um okay so yesterday this didn't move much as you can see not a lot of movement there this is the one hour chart so that's yesterday and this is today um yeah i mean like i say i wouldn't be buying at the tops here this is probably going to be a sell zone and i think it's obvious to everyone this is a sell zone so i wouldn't be buying here if you want to sell you can sell with an opportunity here like i always say it should come back into the 30s zone all right so we should come back into this zone and even let me tell you this is as well even back into this zone here as you can see all right so it's doable because of the zone here plus a little bit of a zone right in here okay so that's still doable and you know me i don't like to buy expensive but i don't do bitcoin but if you guys are doing bitcoin this is a sell zone this was also a sell zone remember i warned you and the cells came in here okay and then this now so selling should come in it should cover this gap it should close this gap it should close these gaps and then so on there's the market might still hang around here okay but I wouldn't be buying here if it breaks out would i buy no i still wouldn't buy if it broke out because all-time market highs mean we're going to come back okay so if the market makes an all-time high it's going to retrace look what happened here all-time highs boom all-time highs boom all-time highs what do you think is going to happen